this tutorial, you will learn how to anchor securely. Before anchoring, check the depth, the position of other boats and hazards all around your chosen spot, allowing for swing room. Before continuing, make sure your sails are down and the engine is turned on. Oops. I like how it starts you right next to the training buoy, so you run into it. <laughs> the wind is pushing us that way a bit. Uh, click for a quick introduction to scope. Scope is the ratio of the length of the anchor cable laid out to the depth of the water. Okay. You need a scope of at least four times this distance at high tide. Get your sailboat at the water depth is measured from the bottom of the keel, so you need to add three meters. So with a depth reading of one meter, you would need four, and then times four is sixteen. Rocky seabeds or a lot of seaweed will give you poor holding. Need a scope of five or six. Okay. I don't think there's any tide yet, but wind does need to be considered. If at any time the anchor chain simulation has a problem, you can reset it from settings. Using the orbit button, check the condition of the seabed. Looks kind of sandy. Select anchoring mode. Okay. The anchoring panel can be controlled using special keyboard controls that are different to the other panels. See the keyboard controls menu. Alright. Uh, anchoring, that's what we did. Anchor up. It's eight. Anchor down is seven. So seven and eight, looks like. Anchor compartment is zero. Alright, close. So zero. Then eight is down. No, seven is down. All right, seven's down, eight's up. Got it. Click the close-up button on the anchoring panel. Yeah, we did that. That was the eyeball. So I'll if click it again. The compartment is closed. Open it by clicking the fourth button on the anchor panel. So I did that with the uh, zero key, but we can do it with the. Oh, we got to roll it in. Your resail boat has an electric windlass making it easy to extend and retract the anchor chain. Lower the anchor until it is hanging just above the surface of the water by clicking and holding the down arrow. What if I want to use the keys? Oops. All right. It's just above the water. Return to the boat cockpit view. All right. Having made sure there are no other boats in the way, turn the boat so that the bow is into the wind. Keep your speed to the minimum and keep watching the deck. No other boats, so we're good there. Need to turn into the wind. Not sure I can clear that buoy. Yeah, I think we're going to make it. So you're well away from the training board. Roger that. Make sure your bow is steady into the wind, then stop the boat, but keep the engine running. So, got a little ways to go there before we get away from the training buoy. Yeah, we're going to slow down. Alright, we're pretty much stopped. You 
use the close-up button to toggle between views as required. You should also use the reverse view to check nothing is in your way. Okay. As you begin drifting back, start dropping the anchor. Yeah, we are drifting back. So we're 2.2 under the keel. We need to add three, so that's five. So we need 20 meters. We also ought to take a look underneath here. So we should hit around five meters, so that's right, okay. So as we drift backwards, we can let it out. After about 10 meters of chain is out, start reversing at about one knot, keeping the bow pointing into the wind. Keep dropping the anchor. meters of chain out a scope of four okay allow the boat to drift back you can tell if the anchor is holding by how taut the chain is huh, I think that actually worked I've never got this to work live sailing maybe I just wasn't scoping enough if the anchor appears to be set Give a burst of power in reverse. You should see a small backwards movement, then the speed should drop to close to zero. If you need to, put down more chain until the anchor is holding firmly. Yeah, I think it's actually holding. All right. Last time I did this tutorial, it wouldn't hold. <laughs> Using the orbit button, you can look under the boat. Depending on your setting, oh, hey, you may see all of the anchor chain or just the top few meters. Go to settings if you wish to change this behavior. To make sure the anchor is holding, establish at least two transits at different angles. A transit is where you line up two distinctive points on the land, one near and one far. Keep uh, okay. Transit alignment to make sure the anchor is not. Do we have enough detail to do that? So let's use, what can we use here? The edge of that tree and then the far tree, the edge of those leaves. We can't really zoom in. Well, I don't think we're drifting though. I mean, speed's reading. That's cool, I've never got this to work before. They either fixed something or I just did it wrong. Now we will raise the anchor. Slowly motor forwards towards the anchor while retracting the chain. Don't overrun the chain, otherwise it might end up around the propeller. Yeah, that could be bad. See where that might be bad. Uh, let's go up front here. It was eight to bring it in. Yeah, all right. So let's give a little, little bit of motor. Actually bring it on. coming up. Now dab the up button so that the anchor slowly comes over the edge and fits into its channel. This prevents excessive strength in the wind. Nice. 
Alright, cool. Close the hatch. We're done. Once the anchor is seated properly and secure, close the anchor compartment. You have completed this tutorial. Alright, cool. Well that worked. I'm gonna have to try that out in live sail again. Because I have not been able to get it to work, but it worked in the, in the tutorial. So that's how you anchor in e-sail. Thanks for watching, and happy sailing.